Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. Well, I hope everybody's doing okay. So in today's video, as the title says, I'm going to be doing some tarantula maintenance on my Theraphosa apophysis enclosure. And uh, I'll be taking the, all this stuff off on the top, taking the lid off, and I'm gonna be taking the tarantula out of her enclosure. Uh, there's some sphagnum moss just in the corner where the water dish is. I'll be taking that out and giving that a soak. Uh, sphagnum moss is for humidity, and these tarantulas love plenty of humidity. Uh, the substrate needs a little bit of a clean, so I'll take out some dead food. Uh, I haven't got no spring towels in there. I'll give the water dish a clean. And there's a plant just here, so I'll be moving that to the back of the enclosure so it gives the tarantula a bit more room to uh, walk around. So first thing to do everybody is uh, take the lid off. So let's get started. So ladies and gentlemen, there you go. I've taken the lid off and all the stuff on the top. So the first thing I'm going to do is just move this plant here. Might disturb the tarantula a little bit and she decided to go, <laughs> go for the plant. That's a good start, isn't it, guys? She decided to uh, attack the plant. So as it's just said, 20 minutes later, she's still hugging that plant. So let's just take the uh, all this sphagnum moss out. Well, there she's decided to move at last. That's just uh, sprung her into action a little bit. So now she's moved, let's just move that plant out of the way. There we go. And let's just take all this sphagnum moss out. So what I'll do is now, I'll, um, I'll get an enclosure, put the lid just here, and then I'll coax her on the lid, and uh, let's get her out of the enclosure. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to place the lid Right next to the spider if I can. There we go. And then I'm going to coax the tarantula towards the lid. She could get a little bit annoyed, but it um, doesn't stress her out too much. And there you go. And then what you do is just make sure you don't catch her legs. And if I just put the lid on. And there we go, and that's how I collect her from the enclosure. Nice and simple. So now the tarantula is outside the enclosure, I can take the water dish out. There we go. And I can get rid of all this sphagnum moss. And I'll put that back in a bit later, but I'll soak all that in some water. So let's just get my spoon and just scrape up all this old substrate. And there's some dead leftover food in there. So what I'll do is I'll get all this substrate here and I'll throw that all away. So with all the substrate out of the way, I'm going to put some fresh in. Unfortunately, I haven't got enough to do the whole enclosure. I've only got enough just to do this part. But this is the main part of the enclosure that needs doing. So I want it nice and level with the back of the enclosure. And there we go. That should be plenty, and plenty inside there, everyone. There we go. So next up, I'll just clean the water dish out and re-add it back into the enclosure. So with the water dish nice and clean and back inside the enclosure, let's just top it up with water. And I'm going to put that fake plant back in the enclosure at the back. And there it is. So let's just grab that and put it into the enclosure I'll put it more at the back 
Yeah, that looks perfectly fine. And let's move all this leaf litter so it looks a bit more like it would be in the wild. So I'll give the uh, substrate a good soak in a bit. There we go, let's tap that out. Move all these leaves to the back. Yeah, that looks perfectly fine. And she's got uh, plenty more room to walk around. So yeah, that looks perfectly fine. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the best way to soak the substrate. Just get a jug full of water and pour it all over the substrate. That's the best way to do it. All over the back where the leaf litter is as well. And this will hold plenty of humidity and plenty more when I put the sphagnum moss back in. I'll soak that in water as well. You can keep spraying the enclosure but it dries out after about 24 hours. So yeah, there we go. That's all nicely soaked in the enclosure and uh, let's put the sphagnum moss back in. So ladies and gentlemen, I have left the sphagnum moss in the water just for a couple of minutes. So let's just take the sphagnum moss out. Let the water drain a little bit. There we go. And I'm just going to add that just around here. There we go. And get some more. Put it just around there. That'll do. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, plenty of sphagnum moss in there just to. Uh, Hold the humidity. So ladies and gentlemen, the last part of the video to do now is to get the big girl back inside her enclosure. So let's just put that there and then I'll just take the lid off. So uh, let's just uh, take the lid off. There we go. And I'll just get my two foot tongs. And I'll just remove the lid very slowly. And there we go, everybody. As simple as that. So, with the lid back on, everybody, and she's back inside her enclosure, and she has plenty more floor space to walk around now. So I hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone.